Okay, so the second paradox I'm going to give you is known as the arrow paradox. You might have heard of this one before. Okay, Xenon states that for motion to be occurring, an object must change the position which it occupies. I looked at that because I just did 15 takes of me saying it wrong. So for example, with an arrow flying through the air, he states that in any one instant, at an instant time for the arrow to be moving at a specific time point, it must either move to where it is, or it must move to where it is not. It can't move to where it's not because this is a because of the infinitesimal point in time that we've selected. But yeah, it can't move to where it is because it's already there. So basically, what this is saying is at any instant in time, an object isn't moving because it's an instant, it's like a snapshot, it's like a, a still frame of a video. That one frame, I'm not moving. Per every single frame of these, I'm not moving. It's a still photo. And thus, if you videoed the, if you videoed the arrow, it wouldn't be moving in that one specific snapshot. And therefore, if it can't travel in that tiny little instant, then how can it travel the whole flight? So if the arrow can't travel in one instant, it can't travel in any instant, and thus isn't moving. And the reason this, this paradox works is because it's moved time, is because it's split time into segments. No, not into segments, but into points. Infinitesimal moments in time, nothing's moving. If you look at something, there are infinitesimally small periods of time where they are not moving. And thus, if there are tiny periods of time when they're not moving, then they aren't moving. You see why paradoxes are so complex. You see how difficult it is to explain what a paradox is. So there we go, that's the arrow paradox for you.